Welcome. We'll be going over the introduction to Logzilla apps and rules. For those unfamiliar, Logzilla is a network event orchestrator. What this means is that Logzilla watches information streams such as log files, it deduplicates filters and parses the log event messages, and it will react to those events in real time from sending out email alerts up to and including automatically remediating prom conditions. For this video, we'll be talking about Logzilla apps and rules. Logzilla apps are modules that we have created for your use. Each module corresponds to a different log source. By log source, we mean different routers, servers, and firewalls. Apps include rules, widgets, and dashboards specific to that type of log source. What this means is that the app rules know how to parse and extract information from the incoming log messages. This would include data like source addresses, usernames, HTTP response codes, etc., and widgets and associated dashboards display information relevant to that particular log source. For example, firewall dashboards might have widgets that indicate source addresses, destination ports, and firewall rules. DNS service dashboards might have widgets that show DNS activity rates, name requests, and client addresses. Apps also contain Logzilla rules. Rules are small programs that tell Logzilla how to read and parse the incoming log messages. Rules either come as part of the app module or even can be customized to user requirements. As an example, here's a DNS log message. The information we want from this log message is the requested host name. You can see that the host name is included in the message text. The message text has a particular structure and contents. The rule, which in this case is part of the app, is what tells Logzilla how to parse the desired content from that message. So Logzilla knows to look in this part of the message text and extract the content. Apps include dashboards, widgets, and rules. However, you can make custom rules apart from the logs of the apps. Custom rules allow you to read elements of the log messages as user tags, as well as changing the event message body text to make it more useful, as desired. Let's look at a custom rule. Rules are composed of two parts, test files and rules. Here's the test file. It's just a YAML file that has examples of how the rule is supposed to work. You can see that it's got the event showing what's supposed to be coming in from the incoming log source, and then it has what's supposed to happen with the rule, and then the desired output, in this case, some user tag setting. Here's the rule itself. Rules are small programs coded in the Lua language. You can use any available resources on the web to find out more about Lua. This is a typical simple rule. Its purpose is to read some data elements from the log message and set some user tags. User tags are covered in their own video, but in short, there are specific data elements appropriate for that log source that Logzilla allows you to display on widgets to search by and to filter by. Now besides some minor fluff, the rule is broken into basically two parts. The first part sets some Lua Alpeg expressions that will be used to read the log event message. These are conceptually the same as standard regular expressions, which in general specify what the text message is supposed to look like and what portions of the messages are of interest. So the Lua expressions tell Logzilla what information to derive from the log event message. The second part of the rule is the Lua function that runs for every single log event received. It tells Logzilla what to do with that log event message, which basically is first, to use the alpeg expression to read information from the log message, and second, to set user tags. So that's the rule. Rules may look complicated, but in principle, they can be very simple, using fairly basic concepts pertaining to Lua and to what Logzilla is doing. There is an in-depth video that goes into more detail about how to make and use rules. Well, that's Logzilla apps and rules. Please feel free to contact us on our website, logzilla.net. We'd be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.